NFL Week 13 Gambling Picks. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome, incredible sports books down there. Samstown, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Fitz Casino, Gold Strike, and Horseshoe. There you go. Holy mackerel. Good job. Holy mackerel. Good job you. Head over to tunicatravel.com for more information. We got a link down at the bottom in the description. Just click on that. Much easier. But tunicatravel.com if you really want to just type it in yourself. Up to you. Uh, you can also head over to winningcureseverything.com. We've got our picks, previews, podcasts, our social media stuff. Everything you need to know about us, we got it for you right there. Winningcureseverything.com. You can also enter our football picks contest. Every week, we got different prizes from Tunica. Last week was a $100 gift certificate to Twain Steakhouse and $50 in slot play over at Samstown. And Bruce C. from Decatur, Alabama, went 7-3, and three, won the tiebreaker. He is the one that got the prize last week. Last week's picks, I went 3-2. and two. That's pretty good. Not bad. You're, got me back to 500. I was about to say, you're at 500 now. You're doing well. Chris went 4-1. and one. Yes, sir. I could I could feel you smiling without even looking at yes, you. Yes, sir. I am 29, 29, and 2 overall. Chris is 35, 22, and 3. What is that, like 62%? I believe that is just around 62%. If you've been betting with Chris on the NFL, you have been making some dough. Love this game. Love this game. Believe that. Well, I'm going to let you start us off. We uh, We got five picks each this week. I'm going with the Stars. girl that I've danced with for a long time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Give me the New Orleans Saints minus seven and a half against the Clapper at Jerry World. It's just this is coaching wise, we're we're not even playing the same game. Quarterback level, sorry, Dak. And this is this, this is, is one of my games as well. This is this is not. I, I cannot believe I, – I always try to guess the lines in my head before I see them to see, like, where I am and Vegas is. And I just knew this was going to be double digits. I know it's a road game, but I was expecting 10 to 13 and a half. There is no – I didn't think it, it would get look, over 14. There but, is not a single position on the field where the Cowboys have an advantage. No. Not, not a not, single not one. position. New Orleans 9-0 and against the spread in their last nine this season – I know the Cowboys have won three straight. I Sorry. think that they've like there's a lot of people that just bet on the Cowboys every week, that's right? But I bet against them a lot. That is I that's just, money. That's Not last week. Throwing reason. money away if you're a Cowboys fan right now. No. No. Like at New Orleans the is the one on place fire. where people will argue. Well, you know, we got Zeke. We got Zeke. You're not as good as Alvin. I, I'm just here and, to well, tell Alvin you. Alvin and Mark combined. Forget that. You're not as good as Alvin. Alvin Kamara is the best running back in football, people. That that's that's the truth. Get over it. Sorry, Todd. Sorry, sorry, Zeke. He's just he just is. Sorry, Melvin. Melvin, I like Melvin, but sorry. What uh? What's your game number two? I'm going to Cleveland. Oh Lord, I'm betting. Well, you, you better the be Texans. going to Houston. Well, I'm going to Houston. <laughs> I'm betting on my Browns. This this line I saw it this morning. We record this on Tuesdays. MyBookie.com is is where I got the lines because I don't have lines for Tunica yet. And this game wasn't up. And I got them plus seven. I went to Vegas Insider to see where this line started from, where it moved to. Looked like it opened at four and a half. Vegas Insider had it moved to six. I saw it on my bookie at seven. I thought, man, I, I know this Houston team is hot. I think they're due for a letdown. I don't know that Cleveland can roll off three straight wins, but Cleveland had not been no punk to anybody. No. I mean, they're they're losing games some, but but they're not getting rolled by a lot of people. Okay? This is a this is a team that's playing well. They're playing with fire. That now, I'm a little nervous. The offensive line has not been good. They've got to get the ball out of their hands quickly. Baker cannot hold it against this defense. But if they can run the ball the way they've been able to with Chubb, then then it should slow down that pass rush a little. I'm I'm taking the seven points. I think it's too many points. I'm going to Detroit in my game number two. Whew. Lions plus ten. 
Since October, the Rams are 1-5-1 and one against the spread as a favorite. They're 2-3 and three against the spread as a road favorite. Lions are 2-1 and one against the spread at home as an underdog. Carryon Johnson is coming back for Detroit. They say he's healthy, he's ready to go. The Rams are number 21 in the NFL in rush defense. I think the Lions will be able to put up some points. I think Matt Stafford will be able to put up some points. Keep the ball away from the Rams. Pretty much. And I, I, it, it could get into a little bit of a shootout kind of thing. I don't expect the Ram or the Lions to win, but 10 points, I think it's too much for, for this game. Double-digit home dog. That's a pretty good, that's yeah. a pretty good number. Like you got that. it. You got it. All right, I'm taking – Taking another road team. All right. Chicago at the Giants. Saw this line at four and a half. I, I, I just like the Bears. This Giants team looks like they are thrown in the towel. They got no heart. If they had any heart or pride whatsoever, they would have beat the Eagles. The Eagles didn't look good at all, and they snuck away with the win. I, I don't know how the Giants are a functional NFL team right now, and this Bears team is really good. Eli... Eli's hanging on by a thread. When Mac is done, he he, he might not have anything to hang on left to. It, it just might yeah. be over. You might be right. I really like the Bears. I really like the way they're playing. I, I don't know that Trubisky's playing. I don't know that it matters. I think Chase Daniels can play and play well. Yeah, I mean, he did pretty pretty well at the Lions. I think the Lions might be better than the Saints. Uh, not the Saints, the uh, oh, Giants. The Giants, yeah, I agree with that. So I was reading the wrong thing here. That's all right. Nope. <laughs> we all understood what you meant. Um, game number three for me, I'm going to Seattle. Okay. The 49ers are 3-8 and eight against the spread this season. Seattle is 6-2-1 and one against the spread. Russell Wilson is on fire right now. Seattle 8-2 and two against the spread their last 10 against San Francisco. They always play the 49ers well. I understand 10 points, a lot of points. Don't think it matters here. 49ers don't travel. They have trouble scoring on the road. Um, and they've had trouble just scoring, period, here lately with, with Nick Mullins. I think this team is just about checked out. Like, we're we're getting closer to that point in the season where they're like, screw it. I just want my paycheck. Let me get out of here. Let's get a draft pick. And Seattle... If the playoffs were right now, they'd be in the oh, playoffs. No, they're, in, they're in, and they're they're a team that you don't want to play in the wild. Card. Exactly, they they're are gonna mess somebody. They're on fire up. right now. Ten points may seem like a lot. I don't think it is right here. Seattle at home, they uh they have not played well at home, but they've had some really tough games. This is not one of those. I think they get it right this week. I think they destroy the 49ers at home. Seahawks minus ten is my pick. My next game, I'm going to New England. I'm taking my Patriots. I'm laying the six points. I I I don't I don't trust this Patriots team a lot this year, but when when they're at Gillette, I've been to that stadium this year. I see how they play. It's just a different kind of atmosphere. That is a team that protects their house. And the Vikings, I've watched this team just play like a dog, and I've watched them play good. I don't know that I've seen them play great. I think the Patriots are a really good football team still, and in order to go and Gillette and beat them, you got to play great. Yeah. And and it's less than a touchdown. I I I, I like the Patriots offense against this defense and they they're balanced. They're getting Burkhead back. I wonder if he'll be a factor at all or if they're going to let him get a couple of weeks to 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 get back into game shape. If Gronk can stay healthy and make the plays that he made last week, that looked like old school Gronk. Yeah. Could not be guarded, could not be covered. Just a monster when he gets loose. If he's getting warmed up, it, it's one of those times where the Patriots might start getting scary. Yeah. I, uh, I, so I'm, I I'm taking the that. Pats. I'm laying all six points. Game number four for me, I'm going to Oakland. Okay. I got the Chiefs minus 15 at the Raiders. Again, really high points right there. But it's Oakland. So, look, the Raiders are 0-3 against the spread as a home underdog so far this year. They are 3-7 and against the spread against the Chiefs in their last 10 meetings. Kansas City averages almost 37 points a game. Oakland averages 17. So, and I understand KC gives up 29 points a game. 
while Oakland also gives up, or sorry, Kansas City gives up 27 points a game, Oakland gives up 29. Like, but the KC giving up 27 points a game, I and mean, they gave up 54 to the Rams, they gave up 38 to the Steelers. You know, they, this was against good offensive teams. Oakland ain't a good offensive team. They ain't a good anything team. Oakland is bad. I just saw the Ravens with Lamar Jackson beat them by 17. I don't care that they're going back home. Andy Reid loves to beat the Raiders. I mean, it, it's, it plays up well with the fan base. Kansas City hates the Raiders. That's the way it goes. This is a bad Raiders team. They're going to take advantage of that. Chiefs minus 15. I think they beat them at least three touchdowns. All right. We got one game left. Yep. We doing this? Yeah. Go ahead. Give me the Chargers. <laughs> Give me the Chargers. <laughs> going into Pittsburgh. Playing big Ben Roethlisberger, who loves to give the ball away to the other team in the most crucial of moments. I I, I just think Joey Bosa is going to be living a rip free inside Ben's head, and in a whole lot of time in in Ben's face. Very very rarely are you just dead wrong on picks. But you are just dead wrong here. Since 2016, the Steelers are 7-3 and three against the spread after a loss. They are 2-0 and oh after a loss this season, straight up and against the spread. Since 06, the Steelers 28-16 and 16 in primetime games. They love playing with the lights on. And they love playing at home. Steelers are better in every major statistical category, offense and defense. Steelers minus three is the correct play. We going against each other this week, and I understand most of the time you end up winning these. You're not winning this week. The Steelers get it back on track. That loss at Denver kind of pissed them off a little bit. Chargers are feeling good about themselves coming off a beat down of the, the Cardinals. I'm telling you, Steelers all day on this. Lines three, lines short. Lines short, buddy. All right, that wraps up our NFL Week 13 picks. Ah. <sighs> Very rarely is Chris wrong on some of these, but he's wrong on that last one. I'm glad that I was here to correct it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We've given you all the information you need to go be a winner. Go down to Tunica. Put some action on your favorite plays. Tunicatravel.com is where you need to get more information on all six of their sports books. I cannot recommend all of them enough. They're all wonderful. Go down, spend some time, hang out, watch the games, put some money on them, come back a winner. Tell us thank you when you get done. Put your picks down in the bottom. We we want to see what you got. I, I'm not interested if you go undefeated on, on the NFL one. We ain't, we ain't worrying about that one. It's the college one that you need to go undefeated on if you want to come on the show. Because people can go undefeated on the NFL one. You've already done it. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think people can. I think it's really hard to do. You want to put the you want to put it out there for this I'm one? I'm not afraid. All right, let's go. Look, you go five and zero oh at. First off, tell us where you got your picks. Put the lines with it. Give us your five picks. If you go undefeated, we're going to bring you on the show. 5-0. and oh. It's got to be 5-0. and oh. can't be 4-0-1-1. Oh, got to be 5-0. and oh. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, Tunicatravel.com, winningcureseverything.com. Go enter in the football picks contest over on the website. Roll it.